I think I cracked the code, you guys. I think that this is what day the message came in on. The one. Because numbers are terrible ways to keep track of characters. I thought that this might be like my 12 threads with 12 characters or something like that. Like it's a like it's an instant messenger client or something. But uh, I think this might be day one message is this one. And then day two's messages will come in here. And apparently this game's about 12 days long. Or this is all completely false assumption that I've landed on. And I'm a stupid head. It's fine. I'm used to that. One difficulty is I'm playing this game at the same time as Vampyr, and I'm gonna have to, like, try to keep characters in one universe straight from the other one. Which is not entirely hard, not entirely hard, but they are both games about walking around a plague city and mostly just meeting a bunch of people. And then, you know, doing a few tasks for them here and there, and then seeing if they're alive tomorrow. Yeah. So we met with Lara. I believe. I believe we just met with Lara last time. Yeah, this is the creepy cult house. I gotta say that they started things off with like a a sharper hook of sorts in this game. Uh, it's, it's, uh, well, I mean, sharp, sharper hook catches the fish, I guess. That's not really an, an analogy. Uh, I just find it noteworthy that this game has like immediately started things off interestingly because in Vampire, you're like, oh no, you are now a vampire. What are you going? Okay, it's really creepy how you just st stopped still and stared at me. Anyway, <laughs> in Vampire, they're like, hey, dude, you're a vampire now. Sucks, right? All right, you got, you got superpowers, can't go out during the day, all that shit. Uh, but no one can tell you're a vampire. And also, you don't really have to vampire ever, because even though the game opens with a, you uncontrollably devouring a loved one as a vampire, for the rest of the game, you never have to vampire ever again. And it's just not a problem, and you can just ignore it for the rest of the game. As it, almost like it's not a curse at all. Uh, oh no. How many gates are there? Oh, there's a staircase there. Cool. So I found that, I thought that was weird. Meanwhile, this game has a pretty strong, di very different approach, which is that you show up to be a doctor, and you're like, Oh, I'm gonna study immortality, because someone's supposed to be immortal. That's neato. And then you come in, and the guy that 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 freaking brought that's supposed to be immortal is dead, and also the guy who invited you to meet his immortal friend is also dead. Uh, so that's a great track record. And then everyone's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna die today." Just so you know, so you like, you should probably like deal with that. The whole part where you're gonna be dead like today, you know, when you feel like it. But I mean, when being within the next uh, twelve hours or so. Probably should get on that, so you don't die. And like, I could just leave. You'd, you'd think I could just leave town, but I, I, I guess I want to stick around for investigative purposes, so I better get this whole murder investigation done with and figure out who's gonna murder me before I be murdered. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty all right start. Hi. So people just have paintings of this like, guy. And like the various abstract creatures that just Seemed to- hi, vampire man. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. That was creepy. Playing chess? You- you playing chess? You doing chess? Getting stuck on things. Alright, you are the- Do you just do that all day? You just stare? Awkwardly into that doorway until I subvert your expectations by coming around the other side like I'm Stanley. Hmm. Ah. So my Haro Specs is the Ripper. Funny. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I, we're, I, I assume by Ripper he's talking about the person that's killing a bunch of people, right? It's post break, so I had to keep things straight. But he just said my Hero Specs. Isn't Hero Specs the other choosable character in this game that I have right now, besides the one that's locked off and I can't play until I beat one of their other campaigns first? That was a, he just came out and said that. I'm like, huh? Hero Specs the Ripper. I'm like, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, Bachelor Dankovsky, of course. Who else could be so dapper? I've heard quite a lot about you. Have you taken a look around? Be sure to check the state of the industry around here. We have our own ways. How curious. And what is the current state of your industry? Come now. It's 
It's a complicated establishment with a thousand years of history. A special approach is required to control such a colossus. See where I'm getting at, Emissary? It would be pointless to object. I can see we're not really seeing eye to eye. The project is special. Very special. That means common standards do not apply here. That would be very naive. You've probably, you've probably mistaken me for someone else. I have nothing to do with your enterprise. Someone will have to be punished for this sin. Um... Nice to meet you, too. Yes, getting everything back on track won't be an easy task. I'd like to inquire about the fate of my colleague, Isidore Burak. About the manner of his death, to be precise. What are you implying? What is this manner you're talking about? Be so kind as to mind your own manners. I had Ooh, sick burn. I had nothing to do with it. Don't say they say Isidore was murdered by a step demon? A Shabnak Adir? That was that there was that thingy. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, that that facial expression. Oh, did he just like lick his lips almost? That facial expression crossed crossed with there was that thingy. It was just like a weird Oh my god, I can't look away from his face. <laughs> he didn't look like that at first, did he? <laughs> That's an express. How do your eyes open that wide? Your your skull is moving. There was that thingy, a talon they fished out from the wound. I can take this from kids and weirdos, but you, a respectable negotiant, it is hard for you to believe, isn't it? It used to be hard for many. Take my boy, for example, a scoffer if I've ever seen one. And now, even he believes it's real. He went off his head a bit. You're in the step now, a deemed stir, a deemed sir. Eastern and backwards. The dead rise from their graves here. Clay dummies dance and bulls talk. Is it just is talking bulls? Can I, can I go, can I go meet it? Can I just go meet the t talking bull? Does he know the step well, that son of yours? He rubs elbows with the rabble, the butchers, odonke, shepherds and gatherers, learn their tongue, collects their legend. He doesn't keep them in check at all. They even dare to come visit him within the premises of the town. If you see a worm creeping through the streets, he's definitely looking for my son. Does he mean literal worms or just like an insult towards people he doesn't like? That he calls worms. Yeah, his eyes are way smaller now. That was just a thing he did, is his mega eye expression. Where he has mega eyes. You call them rabble? They're dangerous, they're aggressive, and they hate everyone. I hate sand. It's, it's dangerous, aggressive, and it hates everyone. Who isn't a step person? They'll jump you and kill you on the spot. They'll tear you up. Sorry. I'm sorry, I can't get Anakin out of my head now. <laughs> I couldn't get Anakin out of my head, so I'm like, I hate sand, they're dangerous, they're aggressive, and they hate everyone, and they'll tear you up. Boom! <laughs> Just, I jumped to two different Anakin moments. <laughs> they'll tear you up with their teeth and devour their flesh while you're still throwing fists at them. So if you're spotted any within town, countermeasures are taken. So what of your son? Perhaps he could tell me more about this creature. Hold your horses. You want to talk to my blockhead? No. You have nothing to talk about. He's not here, thankfully. I don't want you two to meet. You hear me? These are tradesmen's words and I'll stick to them. Why? Why? I won't leave it at that. And it just ended. Goodbye, dialogue. The girl is fine, but the boy... The boy's unbearable. I'm gonna click on you. There we go. Yeah. So apparently you can click on NPCs, portraits, and it brings up important information, potentially? Vlad Aglimsky. Alexander's take on him. Vlad is a cunning and unfriendly man. Dealing with him is tough. I find it odd he runs the kin so smoothly. Civilized people can't usually find a common tongue with our step people. So, uh... 
You have to turn into a beast regularly in order to communicate with them. What? I think they've stricken some sort of secret pact. This piece has to have a hefty, hefty price. You have to turn into a beast regularly to communicate with them. Are we talking literally? I can't... <laughs> the descriptions of this world, world are so odd. Victor's take. The town prospers thanks to his acumen. He watches over the arteries and has a firm hold over the economy. The abattoirs, the factories, the warehouses, the trading uh, processes themselves are completely under his control. Sabrov and I have long abandoned our attempts to interfere with his domain. We don't have the slightest idea of the Bull Project's day-to-day -day life. I wouldn't be surprised to find out one day that Vlad had installed slavery there. Hmm. Isidore came to see you last night. Don't try to deny it. So what if he did? What were you two talking about? Business, my curious friend. Purely business. I have no interest in other subjects. It has nothing to do with you. And with that, I bid you. The door's behind you. The big one. I'll find out the truth anyway. I can keep talking to you. You can't stop me. How do you so think- my Harospex is the Ripper? Funny. Feels like he's just- Just revealing things he shouldn't be- So how do you think Simon died? I don't think he was murdered. How could he, who craved monoc monocracy, not perish? He couldn't. Not in this place. Balance requires equilibrium. So what you're saying is the Simon's death Folk, uh, worked in favor of the local hotshots, huh? Come now. What I'm saying is, when someone takes too much upon themselves, they always end up ground down. That's how life works. Yet they say Simon was the one to bend to the circumstances, not the other way around. No one seems to doubt that. Simon has lived a very long life. Very long. He was a worthy man, but long doesn't mean eternal, does it? No one is to blame for his death. Examine the body, you'll see for yourself. It just happened. Kane won't let me examine the body. Well, that is temporary. A family tradition. He's not lying to you. He truly believes Simon was murdered. Were he to admit that Simon simply died of death... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> He'd probably go to his last home himself. The shock would be too much for the man. That's strange. Georgie Kane didn't appear sentimental to me. Oh, that's the. I'm so shocked by which parts of the conversation are the I end of the conversation. No. The end of him, apparently. No new letters, but quest. We have a new update here. Cunning lot, aren't they? The old Urglimsky does his best to avoid any mention of his household. When I asked him what his, what his son was doing, the Honorable Stockbreeder momentarily lost his temper. I think the son knows just as much as the father. It'll be easier to get him talking, but where can I find him? I'm guessing our map doesn't have new information. That's where we came from. This is gonna get cluttered fast when all the old messages keep sticking together on this thing at once. Huh. Is this like a map? Nope. I keep thinking I'd be able to invest- uh, interact with the environment a little bit more than I can. I'm on his bed. Oh, his bed has a little heart on it. Isn't that nice? Uh, getting stuck. I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm so sorry over here. Ah! Ah! Get down. There we go. Hashtag just video game problems. Problems such as I'm stuck on the bed and I can't get off. Help me. What the fuck? Uh, is that a son? Are you gonna attack me? Do you know I exist? Wait, what are you? Excuse me. Yeah, it's one time to have that music kick in. Hey, you. Are you... Do you attack people? Are you a monster? What are- He won't talk to me. 
feel like I should follow him, right? This seems important. I'll save. There we go. Maybe he'll lead me exactly to who I'm looking for. He's prob that's probably a step person, right? They look like they're all bundled up to survive outside or something. Oh, that looks like really not helpful clothing for the setting, at least. Ooh. Okay, now I really think he's leading me somewhere. Look at this thing. Is that the... That's the railway station. Hey, come back. Where are you going? What are these? Wait, what are these? He stopped. Oh. Am I under... Wait. Am I under attack right now? Ah! Uh, hey, come on. Don't do that. Uh... Okay, those are enemies, apparently. I'm gonna go in here. Where it's safe. Hello? Do you know you have a creepy guard that murders people? Slow-moving creepy man? Katarina thinks Claire is a messenger from heaven. <laughs> yeah, right. Vlad the Younger. L Laura Ravel's take on him. Why does nobody notice how hardworking he is? He works all the time. Everything he does, he does for the family. Even if his father won't admit it. Yes, he chose to study the kin instead of the intricacies of economy. And he already knows it way better than his, fa his father. He'll grow to be a better manager and better ruler that would make do without a whip, violence, abuse, victims, and riots. Yeah, so this is the son of the guy we were just talking to. And so I was right about that guy, that thing totally leading us straight to him. But also, uh, it attacked me? That was very nice. It says dad's take. A high stepper. Instead of settling down and helping me manage the industry, he'd rather dabble in the local fairy tales. This loafer's most refined skill is wasting my money. He'd rather... He's rather quick-witted when it comes to business. I'll grant him that. All the more shame on him for casting everything on his father. And to think he took after me. How you doing? You found me here. Oh well. I'm not surprised. I suppose you're too... Not too surprised by the fact that everyone knows about you either. The rumor of your arrival spread like fire. Why have you come? I've come for some sightseeing. Is the only option. There was a peculiar incident yesterday by the spleen. The children were playing in the mud as usual. And then suddenly they ran away from the sandbox and the parents noticed that their hands were smothered in blood. However, none of them were wounded. Neither were any of them surprised. Um... Did they do a- did they go do a killing? What's the solution to the puzzle? When the worried adults came to the place where the children had been playing, they found nothing unusual there, only sticks and stones. What do you make of it? Your children play peculiar games? Nice to meet a person of a skeptical mind. I am Vladislav Oglimsky. The younger one, of course. And you are, of course, Daniel Dunkovsky. Nice to meet you. I am crushed by these walls. Okay. Bachelor, I have news for you that which that should prove of, of uh, to be of interest. You seem to be looking for the killer, right? I'm listening. I'll have to briefly explain a few things to you. Have you already been told where what the termitary is? No, I haven't. The termitary. I almost would expect it to be the building where, like, the termites are, or something, based on the name. The termitary is a huge bunkhouse where all the bull project workers live. Although living is the wrong term for it. They nest. They're nesting as a commune, with a rather simple way of life. It could be. It, it could, without reservation, be called savage. What is the bull project? It is the whole industrial system of the town, from the abattoir to the goods stations. Would you care to listen as to why I wanted to see you in the first place? Very much so. Please go ahead. 
Let's get to the point then. A case of pointless, aimless unrest has occurred in the hive mind's nest. The workers there are prone to lashing out from time to time like beasts frightened by a storm. They rage, they howl, they gnaw at one another, an unsightly image of mass uprising. And that is exactly what's going on right now, isn't it? Precisely. And why are you telling me this? Riots occurred at the termitary several times before. The mob goes crazy for a few days, then they calm down just as unexpectedly. All of them at once. The sudden calm is just as void of reason as the unrest that had set them agog previously. Having a certain experience with the kin, we simply block the entrance to, uh, to this zoo off until the riot defeats itself. What is this kin? The kin is... Well, it doesn't matter. It's hard to explain. Their whole so-called society, the many-headed biology. Ah, uh, Jesus. Alright, everything they say is so pregnant with implications of like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, and also I don't want to know what the, what the many-headed biology is, but I will at some point, presumably. There's a bit more discrepancy between portrait and 3D model than there usually is with characters, I think. I don't know if I'd match these two in a lineup. Very well, let's get back to the subject. We usually lock them up beforehand. The evidence of an upcoming outbreak of mass lunacy becomes obvious in advance, and the Termitary's Father Superior informs us of it. But Father tai Chi, but Father tai Chi has recently passed. A curious co coincidence, don't you think? Mass anarchy. Anyway, a member of the kin managed to run off into the town while we were busy taking measures. How did he die? How should I know? A disease, most likely, or an accident or something. That is beside the subject at hand. Yeah, but why wouldn't you know? Seems like information that's kind of easy to have. A disease? Could be a flu or a hernia. I don't know what caused his death, and frankly speaking, I don't care. When one of those, when one of these ants dies, the rest loots bits and pieces of him, burying what's left afterwards. Are you asking a professional curiosity? Sort of. I think you and I can help each other, Doctor. You are looking for the killer, and I'm sure it is a runaway butcher. The title of a half-man suits him very nicely. The, the Canes claim that Simon had not been killed by a human hand, don't they? And our family doesn't need unnecessary unrest in the town. This butcher can, ba can babble devil knows what. His mind is mostly like clouded, most likely clouded with insane ideas. So you'd rather he kept mum about what is happening inside. You are correct. They barely know how to speak, but that only makes it worse. Half men, half beasts. If they start preaching, you feel as though you've encountered a doomsayer. I need this butcher to disappear. Hand him over to the canes, or simply kill him if the beast attacks you. The reward will be hefty. Are you taking me for a thug or something? I'm taking you for a person that's looking for the killer and has the authority to punish him. I'm telling you, there is a rebellious outlaw beast out there, and if he attacks you, and you're forced to defend yourself, you are free to kill him. I think your family has the means to send someone who is a better killer than me. And so that conversation ends. Hello. As it keeps... Katarina thinks Claire is a messenger from heaven. <laughs> yeah, right. As it keeps creepily walking closer. So we kind of just get two random people's opinions each time. What do you think about Simon's death? Hmm. It is known that Simon had limitless social activity just before his departure. He only received two visitors. I know nothing of the first, but the second was none other than Isidore Burke. And the fact that he was killed the same night makes you think, doesn't it? Well, the Oglimskis weren't exactly delighted with his door, were they? You are correct. I'm willing to admit it, as you can see. Were I not absolutely positive that my father was innocent, I would have never confessed to it. 
even th though we share a mutual distaste for one another. One another. Father needed Isidore. He was of much use to him. And that is the ultimate argument in my father's favor. Was he useful as a healer? Isidore wasn't a doctor. He was more of an herbalist. He never studied medicine. All his recipes were about plants and roots, so to speak. He was knowledgeable, true, a sorcerer, if you will, but a very different one from Simon, an earthen sorcerer. I've never heard of that Simon used to be a sorcerer before. Simon was a theurgist. Third, theurgist? Theurgist. Isidore was a witch doctor. What is he... What is he saying? I'll start speaking your tongue myself soon? Um... Huh. I'm not entirely sure where he's going with that one. And you think Isidore, the witch doctor, has managed to achieve the unachievable? A possible theory, but rather questionable. Oh, it just ends with your way. What? See how it all turns out. I used to keep this place secret. But all these secrets seem so childish now. You also see a weird mo mutant man just run straight here. Fine, where can, where can I find this butcher of yours? He is most likely being harbored in a suspicious house. That's in the crude sprawl. Yes, my father is a man of rather hard-handed disposition and quick-tempered to boot. If he finds out the crude sprawl is concealing a fugitive, he will make a mess. Pointless brutality serves no one. I'm looking for peace rather than blood, I'm, so I'm telling you. I'll do my best to make sure you're right. Show me the house. Hello. Glad the younger's more than equal to get rid, to be rid of some beast-like troublemaker. I wonder what the creature whose m murder would not be considered a crime looks like. Does it look like the thing I just saw? Also, am I gonna get a weapon for defending myself? Because I don't think I have one yet, do I? Where did those lazy bastards go? Vlad, now tell me. Did, it, did, it, did Isidore visit you last night? Tell me the truth, please. Yes, Isidore did pay me a visit, but don't ask what we talked about. I have no right to share that with you. Right. I'm going to ask you one more question now. Your answer will determine whether you and I become friends or enemies. Well then, I'd rather be a friend. Go ahead. What did you talk about? Tell me the truth, please. Alright, he just caved. Isidore said, Note that I'm merely retelling it secondhand. He said there's an epidemic in the steppe camps. An outbreak of Tarbagan sickness, maybe. The plague. That is, Father... Father had issued an order to lock the termitary up to prevent the infection from getting in. Do you think his door has already been infected when he spoke to you? He was wrapped in cloth and smelled of alcohol. He said these were preventative measures. But I still think he could have done all that just to, con to convince me, after failing to convince my father. It was idiotic of me to fall for it. But why? To stage a coup in the kin. Isidore had resigned from internal kin business long ago. And passed his share of patriarch patriarchal power. And this power is very special. It's sacred like the power of a house father. And his power used to be considerable. Anyway, he passed it on to another person. Isidore has only been healing since then. Hey, there's some there's some stuff to unpack there. What is he talking about? So Isidore used to work with the kin, passed on a he passed his share of patriarchal power. His power almost sounds like it's a literal power and not just a group power. But whatever his power is, he moved it on and now he's been healing since then. 
When they say healing, though, they mean he was healing other people, because he was an herbalist. And now he decided to come back and let Simon know straight away, right? And if the rumors of the plague are true, we need to warn Reuben. It's very urgent. He is about to examine Simon as soon as the period of time required by the Canes passes. But where is he? I have no idea. Where is he staying? I don't know. There was a secret dissecting room in one of the warehouses, but no one knows where exactly. He used to live mostly in the steppe. Sometimes sleeping in the termitary or at Lara Ravel's sh shelter. But he's not there. I know that for sure. He went away to mourn his master. But would you have done it if you were him? Or what would you have done if you were him? I'm not sure. I'd wait for the him at the canes, it's simple. Oh. 